Many students ask me to help them to acquire a British accent, but what they often mean is that they want to learn modern received pronunciation. Often called RP, received pronunciation has a history of being an accent of class rather than region, though it is widely accepted as the Southern English accent. And there are many RP speakers from all walks of life. The useful thing about learning RP or modern RP is that it is the form found in the dictionaries. So if you ever need to know how a word is pronounced in RP, just head to the Cambridge Online Dictionary. Okay, that's enough of the introduction. Let's get into the good stuff. Oh yeah. When I'm assessing my students' pronunciation, there are a handful of features that seem to cause trouble time and time again. Number one, the schwa sound. Schwa. This is the most common sound in English and it sounds like this. Uh. Uh. I call this the lazy sound because the oral posture, the setup of everything in your mouth, is relaxed and neutral. Uh. 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 The lips are parted the jaw hangs loose and the tongue lies there completely disengaged, as you can see. Uh. 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 Now, the schwa is found in many words, usually in place of the weak or unstressed vowel within a word. For example, take the word for. Independently, it's pronounced for. But within a sentence, this word often switches to its weak form and becomes f, f. Or is replaced with the schwa, uh, f, f. Take this sentence. Tea for two, please, and two sugars for me. Did you notice when I said for, both times they were weak? Tea for two, please, and two sugars for me. Tea for two, sugars for me. Tea for two, please, and two sugars for me. You will hear the same thing happen with of. Of. It becomes of. Of. Listen to this. A piece of cake can cause a lot of trouble. Piece of cake instead of piece of cake. Piece of cake. Lot of lot of trouble. A piece of cake can cause a lot of trouble. And it happens with was, which becomes was, was. Listen to this. I was thinking while he was working on a bridge that was really old. I was thinking while he was working on a bridge that was really old. Now the schwa replaces words that end with er, like in the word water, water. So we may ask for a bottle of water, a bottle of water. Notice I also replaced the a ah with a schwa as well, uh, a bottle of water, a bottle of water, a bottle of water please. It doesn't just replace ER endings, it can also replace OR, AR, and many other endings, like in the word doctor, doctor, rather than doctor, and mirror, rather than mirror. Often students are caught out when the schwa sneaks in and replaces the A or the E in words ending with consonant AL or consonant EL, like he was sentimental about the animal on the highest level of medication. He was sentimental about the animal on the highest level of medication. He was sentimental about the animal on the highest level of medication. And did you spot the word ending with T-I-O-N? 
the schwa is in there too. Shun, shun, medication. Master the schwa sound and that will make a huge difference. Okay, time for you to listen and repeat. Tea for two, please, and two sugars for me. A piece of cake can cause a lot of trouble. I was thinking while he was working on a bridge that was really old. A bottle of water. He was sentimental about the animal. I'm on a high level of medication. Now learning an accent or improving your pronunciation can seem difficult, perhaps impossible, but let me reassure you that it is absolutely possible. And though it does take time, it can also be an enjoyable journey of discovery. And if you'd like support and guidance on your journey to perfecting your pronunciation, then click on the link in the description and I'll tell you how I can help you. So next, I must talk about the R sound in RP. British English is non-rhotic. We don't pronounce the R when it follows a vowel. This can cause pronunciation confusion as other popular varieties of English are rhotic and do pronounce the R. But this is not the case in RP. The R is silent unless it begins the word or is followed by an audible vowel. So, in words such as real, rock and roll, you will, of course, pronounce the R, just as you would in words like zero and irate and carrot. Zero, irate, carrot. In these words, the R is sandwiched between two vowel sounds. Zero, ear, o, R in the middle, zero, I, A in irate, A, U in carrot. I don't pronounce the R, however, if it comes after a vowel and is followed by a consonant. So car, for example, we wouldn't pronounce the R, but there would be an R if the following word began with a vowel sound. But let's look at the words car wash, because the following sound is a consonant, w, car wash has no R sound car wash car wash going to the car wash <laughs> here's an example part part an important part we didn't pronounce the r in part or important an important part but you'd probably drop the last t of important when you put it next to P of part, so you'd say important part, important part, an important part. Try this. The water jet is an important part of the car wash. Now, with this lack of roticity, poor and poor sound exactly the same, as do father and Father. Also note that E-R-E -E can be pronounced as air er in words like where, there, or it could be pronounced as ear in here, near, sincere. I-R-E -E can be pronounced as ire, ire in words like fire, hire, and wire. A-R-E is often pronounced as air er, again in words like care, share and bear. But 
we do not pronounce the R in any of those examples. So that's the important bit to hold on to. Is your head spinning yet? Trying to learn all these rules can be daunting. Often it's best to just let your brain work out the patterns itself by giving it lots and lots of input, regularly listening, active listening and shadowing. It can go a long way. So go and find a great podcast. The English Like a Native podcast offers daily podcasts for you to listen to and they easily fit into your daily life because they're quite short but not too short. So be sure to find it on your preferred streaming platform. Now repeat after me. Carrots are rolling, but where are the rocks? Rita is irate. Get car hire here. Share and care, sharing and caring. It's an important part of the car wash. Okay, moving on to a tricky little short vowel, the short a. Uh vowel. As a northerner myself, I was surprised to learn all those years ago that RP had a short vowel which I had never used before, the a uh vowel. This means that the vowel sound in put and good sound different to the vowel sound in cut and strut. It also means that the phrase good luck is very tricky for me to pronounce without slipping back into my northern accent, which would be good luck, good luck. But in RP, it's good luck, not good look, good luck. For this sound, we can find it by starting in the lazy schwa position. Uh, uh, uh. Then we drop the lower jaw slightly Lift the back of the tongue slightly to produce an uh, 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 uh. It's not as far as an ah sound, which goes a little further with the dropped jaw and raised tongue. Listen to the difference between these three sounds. Uh, 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 ah, ah, uh. Uh, ah. You may notice that it makes me smile as I move from the lazy schwa uh, through to an ah. Uh, uh, ah. Repeat these phrases. Come up trumps. Come up trumps. Lump sums of money. Lump sums of money. Some love, others lust. Let's move from short to long and discuss the confusion around the R vowel. You may have noticed earlier I said car with a long open vowel. Car. In RP, the same vowel is used in words like bath. Pass, last, and laugh. Now, in many regional UK accents and in American, the vowel in these words is a short a. Ah. Bath, pass, last, laugh. So keep this in mind when you're working on RP. Bath, past, last, and laugh. Practice the RP version with me now. The last car drove past. Who had the last laugh? My father's in the bath. Up the garden path. 
sticking with long vowels. Of all the vowels, I would say that most of my students struggle the most with the oral posture of or, found in words such as sure, more, and law, and uh, found in words such as shirt and work. In most cases, learners are confused by the non-rhotic R, which we spoke about earlier. So with the OR sound, you need to drop the lower jaw a long way to make a big space inside the mouth and round the lips. OR, OR. Repeat these phrases. For your door. Four more paws. He yawns and scores. With that first example, for your door, I want you to remember what we talked about regarding the treatment of the R. So rather than for your door, in RP, you wouldn't pronounce the R in any of these words for your door. You will just hear the repeat of or. Or, or, or. With a few extra letters. For your door. Now, when looking at the long uh sound, the letter R usually causes an issue for students. Take a look at the words word, work, shirt. The temptation is to pronounce the R word, work, shirt. But in RP, you would ignore the R and instead use the long er. Uh. Word, work, shirt. Repeat these phrases. Bert preferred birds. I walk to work. The world of words. He heard her burp. Is this useful so far? It's a lonely existence standing in front of a camera, alone in a room, talking to myself. So if you are still with me, let me know by hitting the like button and comment below telling me why you're watching this video. I look forward to learning more about you. Now, I have to mention the TH. This is probably the most awkward oral posture to master if you're unfamiliar with this sound. Yes, I'm sticking my tongue out. Well, not all the way out, but it's placed between my teeth with just a slither of space for the air to pass through. This is simple to demonstrate, but is one of the hardest adjustments to make. But as with all things, practice equals progress. There are two versions of the TH. Voiceless TH, as in thank, think, path, and voiced TH. The, that, weather, them. Repeat these phrases. These three ran farther. The thief threw it. These thoughts are threatening. As I mentioned earlier, it is possible to transform your voice, just as I did many years ago. To learn the strategies that I used to transform, come along to my pronunciation masterclass. The link is in the description.